Have you ever wanted to set up CO2 on multiple aquariums, but you didn't want 20 different CO2 tanks laying around your fish room? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I'm gonna use a CO2 splitter to set up CO2 on multiple aquariums, only using one CO2 tank. So let's go ahead and dive in. What is going on everybody and welcome. If this is our first time meeting, I am Kendall Water from Otter Creek Aquatics and here on this channel, we have a lot of aquarium plants and plant a tank videos just like this one. So if you're new here, go ahead and consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload my weekly videos. Now let's go ahead and dive into that CO2 splitter. So first off, you're probably thinking, Kendall, what is a CO2 splitter? This is a CO2 splitter. There we go. This is a CO2 splitter. So as you can see, it is able to hold six different bubble counters for six different aquariums. So now that we've shown the first product of this video, I want to go ahead and tell you about today's sponsor. The sponsor of this video is Aquatech of California. They have a very beautiful laid out website where you can go to find all of your CO2 needs. So they actually sponsored every product that you're going to see in this video besides the regulator that I already had. So they sent me this product so I could share it out with you all. So if you're wanting to get into CO2, then you can definitely go check them out and see the products that I'm currently using. I've actually used Aquatech for quite some time because that is the regulator that I'm currently using. And I did pay for that one with my own money and it's been lasting me a very long time. I had it set up on my 55 gallon and now I switched it out to the new fish room and we have it set up for this 40 gallon breeder rack. So if you just look through their website, you can find things like regulators, you can find these CO2 splitters, CO2 line, bubble counters, diffusers. They have the whole nine yards when it comes to your CO2 needs. So definitely go check out their website after this video if you're thinking about getting into CO2. Or you can check out their products on Amazon and eBay where I'll link that down in the description. So let's go ahead and get back into the setup. So now that we've got everything opened up through the power of YouTube time travel, let's go ahead and start putting this thing together and start feeding these plants this CO2. So as you can see here, I already had the bottom tank on this 40 gallon breeder rack set up. So let's go ahead and pull this off. And then we'll get this six way CO2 splitter going. So there's definitely something here that I want to show you. It's pretty important. So as you can see at the bottom right here, we have an O-ring and we don't have an O-ring on this one. That's because the CO2 tubing slid right over top of that. But what they did, they included the O-ring right here, but they just twist tied it on. So we're gonna have to take that off, put the O-ring on here, and then we can attach the six-way splitter. So I've got this tiny little O-ring off of that six-way splitter the one that they twist tied on so we're gonna go ahead and put it down on here like so and then we're gonna put the six-way splitter onto the regulator you don't want to over tighten this you just want to make it hand tight like I did and then we're gonna go ahead and attach the bubble counter so now with these bubble counters, just like the six-way splitter, they've got a little O-ring inside. They put it inside so it didn't get lost when you opened up the package or the package. So we gotta open this up, get this O-ring out, and then we're gonna put it on top of here and connect our bubble counters. So you just unscrew the top like this get that little o-ring out screw the top of the bubble counter back on 
And then you can pick and choose where you want each bubble counter. So I'm going to start with the lowest one over here because my aquariums will be to the right of the CO2 tank. So I want the bottom ones, which are going to have the shortest tubing, the farthest away. They're all pretty close together, so it's not going to matter too much. But that's the way I'm going to keep track of each one. So you unscrew that cap, put that O-ring on down there, and then we just screw on the bubble counter. And just like the CO2 splitter, you're not going to want to over tighten these. Hand tight should be plenty enough. Just once you get it going, you can listen for leaks, and if you have a leak, then you can go back and tighten it up if you need to. So let's go ahead and put the rest of the bubble counters on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this looks way more badass than I anticipated. So one more thing I wanna talk about before we get this set up. You can see that this is sitting a little bit sideways and that's because I just over cranked my CO2 regulator when I first put it on. But this wasn't an issue when I first put it on because I didn't have any bubble counters attached to it. Now that we do, we're gonna have to straighten this thing back up. That way the bubbles can flow evenly and the water level is not going to be uneven. So let's go ahead and straighten this thing up and then we'll go ahead and get it set up to the tank. So one thing you want to do when you're straightening this up, you want it to be leaning a little bit the opposite way. That way when you go to tighten it, it's going to straighten it up as you tighten it the rest of the way. Let's watch. Yeah, that's pretty straight. Looks pretty good. Let's set this thing up. So while we're setting it up, I want to show you one other thing that I thought was really cool. So you got to add water to these bubble counters and you can take this thing completely off, which I probably should have done that before I put them on. But when you go to fill them up with water, It doesn't leak out the bottom, so it's got an integrated check valve in it. That way you can pull these things off when they start to get low, take them to the sink, or just dip them down in your tank, fill them up with a little bit of water, reattach it, and go about your day. So as you can see, I've got water in it. It's just barely under the top because you want to allow enough room for the CO2 exchange. So this is going to bubble up and then it's going to create a gas in here that's going to go to your diffuser or however you're diffusing the CO2 into your aquarium. So another thing I want to talk about while we're setting up this new CO2 system, so to speak, is the Aquatech CO2 diffuser. Now these are three in one, so it has a integrated check valve, it's got a bubble counter, and it's also a diffuser. And I really like that it's plastic. So I've had and broke multiple glass CO2 diffusers. And I've actually cut my hand probably two or three times on them. Because they have that little stem that goes up when you try to push it down. The stem just is so weak that it just ends up breaking off. One thing I'm not too sure about is that the hose connection on this is at the bottom. So to be able to get it out of the tank, you're going to have to loop it up. So one thing that I wish Aquatech had done, put one of those U-shaped stems on there. That way you could connect it straight to the top. But we'll see how it does. I've never actually used the Aquatech diffuser, 
but we're about to find out. So I didn't actually show you all how to hook the CO2 proof tubing up to the bubble counters. And that's because this is an extremely tight corner. I got my air conditioning unit right here and my dehumidifier, which needs empty. So it's really hard to get in here and actually show you how to hook that up. But I'm just gonna go through it really quick while I hold the camera just so you can get an idea. It's really, really simple how you do it. So this top piece right here just comes unscrewed. And then you would put your CO2 proof tubing down through the top of this, connect it onto here, and then you would screw that right back on. So as you can see on these ones, they go down through the top and then they just hook on here and that's why these top parts don't have a gasket is because the co2 proof tubing actually covers that for them and then you just tighten that down and you run this line to the co2 diffuser now to talk a little bit about some numbers the pressure that i actually run through the regulator i like to keep around 40 psi which is where it's at right now and you adjust that pressure by this knob right here in the front and if you actually set up this system this little knob over here on the side is where you used to adjust the bubbles per second but I have that completely all the way wide open because these have individual control valves themselves so right here on the side is where you control how many bubbles per second you want and as you can see we're running right around one one and a half bubbles per second right now and they're all pretty in sync so that's pretty cool yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this video on how to set up CO2 on multiple aquariums using a CO2 splitter and only one, that was two, one CO2 tank. But thank you all for watching. Don't forget to stay happy, stay healthy, and until next time everybody. See ya! This is a CO2 splitter.